Is Korean egg toast any good? And the answer is yes, at 100%. The video, you can stop watching now. Just go eat some egg toast. Welcome back to Street Food, guys. Today we are going to make Korean egg toast, and this is part of that rabbit hole of the street food series that all of us seem to fall down at 3 a.m. and nothing good happens after 2 a.m. You make sure you listen to your mom on that one. Korean egg toast seems fairly simple, but just it's the presentation at the end. I mean, look at this. Look at this egg toast, just the way it's presented in a cup. How, I've never seen anything like it, and I need this in my life, and I need it right now. Just like I need this hat that just came in the mail, chefpk.com slash store. Now street food should be delicious and easy and quick. So in that same thought process, I have everything mised out. Yes, I did this earlier for you guys. So I'm actually using my electric flat top here, but please feel free to just use a nonstick skillet. It's gonna work out fine. This just makes my life a little easier. So that way I can just kind of do everything at once like you see in the video because I, I want it that way. As far as mise en place goes, this is really all we need. We have a couple of eggs, some chopped garlic, a bit of green onion, some shredded mozzarella, some diced ham with cabbage. Then some shredded cabbage right here. This is gonna be one of the kickers for crunch. I also have some chopped parsley, some butter to grease up the pan, a little cutie pie mayo, some Portland ketchup to make fry sauce, then gojujang, which is gonna be a second sauce. A couple of pieces of bread. We actually only need one and a half slices, but I'm just gonna eat both because I need the, I need the carbs. And then this is kind of the kicker. This is brown cheese. I had a hard time finding this. This is the closest thing I could find. I hope it's the right one, but uh, this is what was recommended to me. So we're gonna go with this for the brown cheese. Once my flat top feels like it's catching fire, we're gonna start with the sauces first. First sauce is gonna be the fry sauce. And if you've never had fry sauce, you need to visit the PNW and have some fry sauce, please. Fry sauce is simple. We're doing equal parts ketchup and mayo. We're gonna go with 15 grams worth of, seven, 18, 19 grams worth of ketchup, 18 or 19 grams worth of mayonnaise. We're just gonna bring this to a total of 40. Let's just go ahead and, come on, come on, slowly. Slowly for the people. Give us a quick mix. This is fry sauce. My friends, my lovely ladies and gentlemen, if you've never experienced this, the time is now. That's all we need for this first sauce. Now the second sauce, this is gojujang. Gojujang is a red chili paste. It has a slight sweetness to it. We've used it a couple of times. It is fantastic. One of my favorite things ever. And we're gonna just go ahead and thin it out. So this way we can actually pour this on top. We're gonna, you know, we're just gonna go with it. We don't need too much of this though. So let's, let's, let's aim for like what, 60? We're gonna go with whatever this comes out to. 35 grams, perfect. Now I'm gonna thin this out with just a touch of water. This, you can actually buy gojujang that is thinned out, but I want this to just, I, I don't need to buy another gojujang, so I'm just gonna thin mine out. There, actually, that's that's pretty spot on right there. It's kind of pourable, you know, that's what you want for this. That's sauce number two. Now we need kind of sauce or spread number three. Gonna clean this up with my mouth. Now sauce number three is also the Q-Pie Cutie Pie Mayo. QP Cutie Pie, it, does, it doesn't matter. We're gonna go with 50 grams worth of mayo. Actually, let's go with, we don't need that much. We're gonna go with 30 grams. So we're gonna go 30 grams worth of mayo. This is going to get a good amount of garlic. This is three to four cloves of garlic that is roughly chopped. We're just gonna go all of that in there. Oh. Super garlicky, right? This also is going to get some parsley that I had chopped up for a previous episode. I'm just gonna sprinkle some of that in there. It's gonna give it a nice freshness to it too. I wouldn't recommend skipping this or using like dried parsley, use the fresh stuff. Now I have to check my recipe because I forgot what's in it. If you want the recipe, they are on chefpk.com slash recipe. And then we're gonna add about half of our mozzarella straight to our mayonnaise. Give this a quick mix. This is gonna be, this is gonna be our mayonnaise spread for the bread. This is this is kind of ridiculous. Probably should have chopped up. You know what? We don't, we're not gonna make any regrets here. I'm gonna season this with just a bit of black pepper. I'm not sure if they did or not, but why not? And then that is your spread. Oh my God. The next cheese we're gonna work with is this brown. Look at this. It looks like a brick of caramel. It doesn't even, it doesn't even look like cheese. I'm gonna try a bit of this. I've never had this before. I'm actually really curious as to what this tastes like. It's a little, little, little taste. Oh, it tastes like caramel cheese. That is really good and really different. That's nice. Let's make the omelet portion first. So we're gonna be using a cup for this because you know, that's that's what they did. We're gonna take one egg, crack it right into our mug. And then this is going to get some of our ham. We're just gonna put a small amount of our diced ham in there. Then some of our green onions. Give this a quick, quick little mix. 
And then also it's going to get some of this brown cheese, but for this, instead of dicing it or anything, I'm just gonna use my microplane and just kind of shred some of it directly on there. Oh yes, just a small amount. Cause it is, it is a really strong flavor. We don't need too much of that. Actually, I'm pretty sure we're gonna need this. So I'm gonna leave it out. Now we have, we have our omelet. This is gonna be the first part of our egg. Beautiful, it's an omelet. Bring our flat top back up to heat because it was smoking earlier, so I just killed it, killed the heat. It's fine, it's gonna be okay. So now while this is kind of, it says it's over around a medium heat, so like around 300 according to this Fahrenheit. So we're just gonna hit it with a small amount of butter. Don't need too, because there's so much fat in this dish, we don't actually want a tremendous amount. Now we're gonna do one piece of toast here. And since I only need half, because in the video they were making two portions, I'm just gonna cut this one in half, which I'll probably just eat later. We're gonna put that right there. Now we're gonna get these nice and toasty. While those are working, this is when we can actually make the omelet. So let's put let's put the omelet over here. Let's see if this is, yeah. Get all the ham, get all the cheese out of there. Lose nothing, lose nothing. Now I think my, my omelet's a little a little thick looking, but that's gonna be, it should be okay. I'm gonna spread it out just a small amount. There, that'll, that'll be good. That'll do us good. Crank up the heat a touch more. Now we're gonna cook the omelet just a bit. Then we're gonna crack the egg and this, this shouldn't take too long to toast. You wanna pay attention to these cause these can toast very quickly. So we're gonna let this cook for a minute. So this is going for just a minute. I'm gonna flip the bread and let it absorb some of this butter cause the butter is starting to get brown. But we're just gonna fold this over. Maybe, can we do a three fold? I don't know if we can do a three. We're just gonna do a straight up half fold omelet. I think that'll be okay. We're gonna let that cook for a minute on that side. Now let's move this over go choo-choo over here. Okay, well, let that omelet cook a minute there. We're gonna grab our regular egg. Okay, regular egg is gonna go right here, but we should grease this up just, just a little bit right there. Crack the egg. Okay, now we do have to break the yolk. Make sure that it's pretty long, right? Like they were showing, because this has to cover the whole egg, or the whole piece of bread. We're gonna try to Oh, nope, that doesn't want to spread. We're gonna kind of leave it right there for now. Okay, we're gonna flip this. See how time sensitive all this is. Ooh, that's getting, that's getting dark over there. Now this is going to get mozzarella. Okay, a little bit of the mozz, a little bit of our brown cheese. Turn the heat down, cause this is getting, this is getting ridiculous. Now, let's, aw, oh, that's a rip. Nobody has to know, nobody has to know. See that? Look at it. Okay, because this thing was ripping hot, I'm actually gonna just turn it off for a second. Now for our piece of toast, we're gonna spread a small amount of our mayonnaise right onto this. Hopefully, fire alarm doesn't turn on because I feel like it's going to. I'm gonna have to crack a window. I'm gonna put our egg back on, you know? Get that going again. Place that there. Get a little, little more of our spread on the other piece. Is that gonna be enough egg? I feel like my toast is, is wonky. We're gonna, we're gonna figure this out. Maybe I just have to remake my egg. Let's just remake, let's just remake the egg. We'll save, we'll save these. Okay, so I have my toast ready to go. I just need to remake this egg right here. It's just, this thing gets so temperamental with the heat. And I don't know where the sweet spot is. Now we're gonna go this piece, then this piece. Now we have to hit this with cabbage right here on, on the bigger piece. Then our omelet, right, right. God, that's a big omelet. I'm just gonna, Peel some of that back, turn the heat down because it feels like it's getting warm again. Now it's gonna get some fry sauce pretty much all over all of it. Just do that, spread it on there. Yeah, just get it. Then it's also going to get some of the gochujang. You can go pretty ham on the gochujang if you want it spicy. Like I, I like it spicy, so I'm gonna go a little heavier. Now we have to try to fold this thing. This is the this is where the, the magic happens and where I was enamored by this. They like folded it over. Oh God, it's burning my hands. How do they even? We're gonna press it. Oh my God, should have used gloves. It's hot. I don't, have a, I don't have a cup ready. This is a disaster. How do they do this so quickly? Sorry, Abigail. I'm using your Widowmaker cup. Keep folding it, keep folding it. Now, once you have it kind of rolled up, this is when we're gonna place it in our cup. This is why they serve it in a cup. There's no way you could eat this otherwise. Look at, look at this, look at this monster. That was kind of a beautiful disaster, but we finally have our egg toast. This isn't overly difficult to make. I think 
Using the flat top the way we did was kind of crucial, but at the same time, if you can't dial in the temperature like they do, like they can knock these out so much faster than I can with something like this, but feel free to just use a pan or something like that. Now, I really think that serving this in this cup is of the utmost importance because it kind of just does roll apart if it's not served in something like this. So keep that in mind if you're making it, otherwise just stack it like a sandwich and call it a day. Now, this entire thing has around 750 calories, so I'm just gonna have about a third of it log that in my fitness pal and I'm just gonna save the rest for later, but I wanna try this for you guys. And should I just, to be honest, I don't know how my friends in Korea eat this. I'm gonna try it with a fork. I'm gonna try to get a little bit of everything on here, but uh, I'm I'm really excited. I might just, I'm, you know what? Nah, how would I eat this in the street like this? Stop. Whatever you're doing, make this now. It's creamy, it's salty, it's spicy, it has crunch from the cabbage, the egg is really, really nice and soft still. Everything about it, I love in one dish. Just like everything you should love is over on chefpk.com slash store. We can pick up some really cool merch. My name is Chef PK, get subscribed and remember, keep playing with your food. Now again, I can only have a third of this. Oh, street food, why do you do this to me?